in a in an, a residential eviction, the very final step, the very last step, is what's called a writ of possession, and the court has to sign it, of course, and then the writ of possession gets either hand delivered to the tenant or taped to the front door. It doesn't matter. And the writ of possession says, and it's delivered by the sheriff, and it says we're coming back here in 24 hours. We're going to deliver possession to the landlord. Get ready. And if you come back, and then the the landlord and the the sheriff will come back 24 hours later. If if the tenant is not out of there, then they will allow the, the landlord to, you know, bust in, change the locks, start putting their stuff out on the curb. Exactly. It's a pretty radical remedy, but it happens every once in a while. I mean, mm-hmm. I've I've had a rental property for many, 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 many years, and I actually had to do it one time. And this lady, she just happened to be an alcoholic. I mean, that's that's flat out. That's what it was all about. Mm-hmm. And so that when we finally did the writ of possession, and we walked in there, and she you know, she's just walking around in a stupor in my rental property, and you know, the sheriff says, "Hey, you've got to go." She goes, okay. She starts walking out, and the sheriff's deputy says, well, you think you might want to take your wallet and your purse with you? I mean, she didn't even have the wherewithal to grab those things on the way out. A shame. And so then, you know, I had a locksmith come, and we changed the locks right away, but otherwise we started putting stuff out on the curb, and and it was funny as we're moving stuff out on the curb, and she's my tenant leaves for a while, and then she comes back. She's with another gal. They're both on bikes. And they're, you know, sorting through this pile of stuff that's out on the side of the road and kind of picking up things that are of interest to her or of a value to her and putting them on their bikes and riding off somewhere. And I don't know what happened to her, but I do know that, you know, her parents had been in touch with me. She was a young woman. She was just, just flat out alcoholic and her parents were, you know, understanding and sympathetic with me. I, you know, we tried to work something out and just couldn't.